coffee, the most widely consumed psychoactive substance in the world, alongside the usual side effects that we know coffee is famous for, such as causing nervousness, irritability, anxiety, restlessness. Caffeine also speeds up your heart rate and raises blood pressure and also increases stress levels. Here are five more reasons why you should give up coffee today. And watch this video until the end, where I'll give you some tips on how to win off coffee naturally. Reason 1. Conventional coffee is among the most heavily chemical treated crops in the world. It is sprayed with synthetic fertilizers, fungicides, herbicides, pesticides, insecticides. So unless you drink organic coffee all the time, not only coffee is bad news for you, but also it's really bad for the environment. Reason 2. Coffee is addictive. Caffeine not only increases adrenaline, therefore keeping you alert and wide awake, but it also increases dopamine levels. Dopamine is the reward hormone. On a short term, it makes you feel accomplished and motivated. But because of a mechanism in which dopamine is involved, called the reward pathway, you're going to need more and more of caffeine to achieve the same result. Watch my video on sugar addiction to learn in detail how the reward pathway works. Link in the description. Reason 3. Coffee is a diuretic. Coffee stimulates the body to lose water through urination, which in turn can lead to dehydration. Hence why it's not advised to drink caffeinated drinks when working out or doing other activities that requires fluid. And you will need to increase your water intake to an additional cup of water every cup of coffee that you drink. Reason 4. Coffee is acidic. For these reasons, it will upset the stomach especially for those that suffer from stomach ulcers or acid reflux. In this case, it will definitely acerbate the symptoms. Reason 5. Coffee is an anti-nutrient. Caffeine interferes with some minerals such as magnesium, calcium, potassium, and some vitamins such as B vitamins, especially if taken with food. So the classical shot of espresso that we Italians love so much to have after lunch completely messes up your nutrients intake from food. If you're ready to win off coffee today, here's a couple of things that you can try. 1. Go cold turkey. Clear your cabinet, make sure you have no access to coffee at home or at work and stop drinking it altogether. This is really hard. You not only be feeling irritable, headachey, tired the first few days, but you will require a very strong mindset. I actually did this last month when I went traveling. And this technique was successful only because one, I wasn't drinking a lot of coffee to start with. And two, everywhere I went, I had absolutely no access to the coffee that I used to drink. Another thing you can do is wean off coffee slowly. Depending on how many cups you drink per day, diminish the quantity. So, for example, cut out one cup a week and make sure you have a substitution to go for. My favorite is white tea or green tea. They contain still a little caffeine, but much less than black tea or coffee. And they have the additional benefits of being rich in antioxidants, especially green tea. Personally, I don't recommend to switch to the cup coffee as it is still a heavily spray crop and damaging for the environment. But do switch to an healthy alternative substitute such as chicory, dandelion root and or burdock, which not only they are caffeine free, but they also have added benefits of supporting the liver, your digestion and a peaceful night's sleep. I've been off coffee for almost a month. And the first thing that I noticed, my period came and went almost pain-free. I suffer from PMS a week before my period usually, but this time, nothing. This might have to do with the fact that caffeine raises cortisol levels. Cortisol is the stress hormone, which is closely related to estrogen. And also caffeine causes vasoconstrictions, the narrowing of blood vessels, which in turn can worsen cramps. Personally, I gave coffee up because I did not want a substance to dictate my energy levels and my daily rhythm. So now, what about you? Are you ready to face the world caffeine-free?